Not all who have beautiful destinies get to live it. Most of the time, what hinders you from fulfilling your destiny and from enjoying the blessings meant for you is fear and anxiety. In this video, you will see five ways anxiety and fear can hinder your destiny and blessings. Stay tuned. Please, if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, kindly do so now. Hit the subscribe button for more inspiring content. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Beloved, this is God's word and heart for you. He wants you to live the fullest of life by fulfilling destiny and enjoying his blessings. But a lot of that depends on how you respond. Many people live with fear and anxiety and that has hindered them from their destiny and blessings. Here are the five ways anxiety and fear can hinder your destiny. Number one, you make bad decisions. 1 John 4 verse 18 says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. One of the punishments of fear is that you begin to make decisions that are not right. When you make decisions from a place of fear and anxiety, you are most likely to make a wrong one. Decisions are crucial in life. One bad decision can destroy years of toil and labor, and the decisions you make shape your destiny. The moment you begin to live in anxiety and fear, your reasoning and judgment will be clouded, and every decision that stems from that is hardly a good one. Jesus gave a parable in Matthew 25 verses 14 to 30 about stewards who received money from their master to manage while he was away. When the master returned, he asked the stewards to account for how they managed the resources entrusted to their care. Amidst the three stewards, only two made extra money from what they were given, and their master blessed them with more money. But the other one could not make more money. He hid his master's money in the ground. When his master asked him why he did that, one of the things he mentioned was that he was afraid. While his other colleagues were out there making investments and getting more blessings from their investments, he made the bad decision of hiding what his master had given him because of fear and anxiety. Is there a potential God has blessed you with that you have swept under the carpet? Have you concluded that you are not good enough to put your work or skills out there? Are you anxious that no one will regard you or appreciate your effort? Don't let the voice of fear and anxiety cloud your sense of judgment. Don't let it push you to make bad decisions. If there's anything you should do, it is pray. Philippians 4 verse 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests unto God. Prayer is how you tackle your fear and anxiety. Bring it before God in prayer. And as you do so, the love of God will fill your heart and cast out every fear in your heart. As you pray to God, you will receive peace, and every form of anxiety will disappear. Then, you can make decisions that propel your life towards destiny and blessings. Elimelech left Bethlehem out of fear and anxiety that the famine would affect him and his family. And so, he decided to go to Moab to seek greener pastures. This will prove to be a bad and costly decision as he lost his life, and his two sons also died in a strange land. They did not get to live their lives to the fullest, nor did they get to enjoy the blessings of God. Like Elimlech, you might find yourself in a country where things do not seem to work out because of a bad economy or security crisis. This can make you anxious and fearful, but it will be dangerous to decide what to do out of fear. Your next point of call should be praying to God for help and direction so that you will not witness the same thing Elimelech witnessed. Number two you will remain stagnant. Another way fear and anxiety can hinder your destiny and blessings is by making you stagnant. A fearful person will not have the courage to take on challenges, try new things, or explore new territories. A fearful person will not be willing to take risks. Not taking risks will make you remain on the spot. Not moving, not progressing, not advancing. It is in moving away from your comfort zone that you become a better person. It is in taking daring steps that you become equipped for life and destiny. It is in acting in faith that you enjoy the blessings of God. Anything short of that will deprive you of blessings. You can learn from Abraham, a man of faith. 
When God called him to an unknown land in Genesis 12 verse 1, Abraham had every reason to be anxious and fearful. What God asked him to do was hard judging from a human perspective. He would have to leave the comfort of his family and the territory he had been all his life. He did not know what life would be like on the other side. But he moved according to God's word. If he had not moved, you would not have known Abraham as the father of nations today. If he had not moved, he would not have enjoyed the blessings of God in a strange land. Beloved, the best you can get from fear and anxiety is an average life, a stagnant life, an unrewarding life, and this will hinder you from doing things that will bring blessings to your life and destiny. Number three, you find yourself in toxic relationships. The kinds of relationships you keep determine the blessings in your life and your destiny fulfillment. If you walk with the right people, they will influence you to make the right decisions they will prompt you to go to the right places and do the right things that contribute to your life meaningfully. But when you are living in fear and anxiety, you are most likely to find yourself in toxic relationships. This is because you are not in a good mental space to choose your company wisely. You tend to accept every Tom and Harry into your life because you don't have the luxury of making a wise and informed choice. And that is why you find that many people will remain in a relationship where they are always facing abuse, whether emotional abuse or physical abuse. Remaining in this situation will make it difficult for you to fulfill destiny because gradually you will begin to lose your sense of identity. And as that happens, every blessing attached to the expression of that identity will be blocked. Although the relationship between Abraham and Lot was not toxic, Abraham still took the wise step of separating from Lot because their servants were not in agreement. Abraham had nothing to fear, neither did Lot. They both knew they would still thrive and survive even if they separated. So, it was not hard to separate when the need arose. And it was after this separation that God spoke to Abraham again and gave him directions concerning his life and destiny. Beloved, there is nobody too good for you to leave if there is a need for it. Don't allow fear and anxiety to keep you with people and in relationships that will not allow you to bloom. Remaining in your parents' house as an adult man because you are anxious and scared about starting life on your own and remaining in an unwholesome relationship as a lady because you think you cannot find a better person are hindrances to your destiny and blessings. Sometimes all you need to bloom is to quit and move on from some relationships. Pray to God for clarity and guidance. Number four, you miss opportunities. Fear and anxiety will make you think a million times before taking action. And this will make you act late or not act at all. And as a result, opportunities that are supposed to bless you and help your destiny will miss your grab. In Judges 4, you will see the story of Barak, a commander of the army of Israel in his days. Deborah the prophetess gave him God's word to go to war against Jabin, the king of Canaan. But Barak was reluctant to go for fear of Jabin, who had become a terror to the Israelites because of their sinful practices. He insisted that Deborah go to the battleground with him. As a result of this fearful stance, Barak lost the opportunity of taking the honor of winning the war as a commander under God. God gave this honor to a woman, Jael. Although she was not a soldier, she was the one who killed the dreadful and wicked Jabin. Do you sense God leading you to write a book on a particular concept? Do you feel led to start a non-governmental organization for the welfare of orphans? Is there a project God is laying in your heart to do? Don't allow anxiety and the fear of failure to hold you back from doing God's bidding. It may be the medium through which God will unusually bless you. It may be the mark of destiny fulfillment. Take that bold step today. Number five, you will not be able to discover the gift you are. You will miss out on many blessings when you do not discover the gift you are. Sometimes your physical disabilities might distort your understanding of how gifted you are, but you can unravel that when you don't embrace fear and anxiety. When you live in fear and anxiety, you will not be able to discover or explore the beautiful things that God has in store for you. Moses almost missed the opportunity to enjoy the blessings of leadership when he told God that he was a stammerer. 
Maybe his real fear was having to face Pharaoh again because he killed an Egyptian before fleeing from Egypt. Or he was afraid the people would make jest of his utterances as a stammerer. But thanks be to God who did not allow him to lose out on that discovery. Jeremiah was another man who did not think he could become a prophet because he was a child. The fear of facing older men must have been a concern in his heart. But God educated him and he was able to fulfill his destiny. Maybe you are also having doubts and fears about tapping into your potential. Trust in God and allow him to make you. Then you will fulfill your destiny and enjoy blessings without hindrance. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for this word that has come to me today. I pray that you grant my heart understanding so that I will not live in fear and anxiety and miss out on your blessings for my life. I receive faith and boldness to take bold steps as you lead me. I ask that your mercy speak for me in every area where I have missed life-transforming opportunities because of fear. Fill my heart with joy and peace in your presence and help me to deploy my gifts for the blessings of others. Thank you, Lord, for hearing me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If this video has blessed you, like, share and subscribe.